The parliamentary opposition has called for the Bank of Jamaica to intervene in the growing crisis facing customers seeking to withdraw or deposit cash at automated banking machines across the island. Speaking with our news center Friday, opposition spokesman on finance Julian Robinson dismissed claims by the Jamaica Bankers Association that increased vandalism and attacks on courier vehicles have contributed to the crisis. According to Mr. Robinson, local banks are failing to fulfill their obligations to their customers as required by law. Minimum service standards that every single financial institution should abide by. If you have ATMs, they should be operational, let's say, for example, 75% of the time, which means that if you're going there to do transactions, like withdrawing cash, they should have cash. The problem we have now is that there are, the banks are forcing people out of the branches, telling them to use online means and digital means. But when you go to the ATMs, the majority of the ATMs don't work. They don't have enough cash. So what are people to do when you must need cash for specific transactions? Yes, there are people who are going to use online banking, but for the elderly, for example, they're not going to use online banking. So what exists right now? While I acknowledge the issue of crime, theft, vandalism, what exists right now is unacceptable. Mr. Robinson added that banking customers in rural Jamaica are feeling the brunt of the crisis. Because this is not a new problem. It's not, I mean, it has been hiding over Christmas, but this has been going on for months. While the urban areas can complain that you may have to go from one place to another. I'm hearing some parishes only have one. South Trilani don't have none. You know, so the BOJ, as the regulator, has to step in here. If you're pushing people out of the branches because you want to reduce your costs, you must ensure that the other channels are available. And an ATM is an absolute necessity.